Well, a gutsy and dangerous move by two suspects in a stolen car trying to get away from police tonight. It started in Brown's edition and ended up on the South Hill. And that's where KXY 4's Ian Cole joins us at 27th and Mount Vernon. And Ian, this ordeal left a police cruiser damaged. Yeah, basically it all happened across the city, basically starting around 8 o'clock tonight. It all started around 10th and Maple where there were reports of a stolen 2013 white Ford hatchback. Uh, now police went up there. They weren't able to spot the car immediately, so they kept looking for it. They tracked it to Brown's edition, actually, and that is where they spotted the car with the two suspects in it. They had it cornered at one point uh, and then at the driver uh, decided he didn't want to go to jail, rammed a police cruiser and got away for a second time. Finally, they spotted the car about 20 minutes after that up here on the South Hill at Mount Vernon and 27th. So if you come back out here to where this all happened, they found the car just in this parking lot at the apartment complex. They immediately started a canine track that led them west up the street uh, down about a block to a house where they said that there was a homeowner. The homeowner came out and said there are two people inside of my garage right now. Police were able to go in, arrest them. They arrested 27-year-old Christina Edwards and 32-year-old Gary Jack Todd. Todd will face first-degree assault charges from the incident. Edwards will also face a rendering criminal assistance charge. Todd also had an outstanding warrant. Uh, so police, after a lengthy uh, pursuit. It wasn't a chase across the city, but uh, somewhat of a quiet pursuit, uh, except for that for when the driver actually rammed the police car. They finally got those two suspects tonight. Reporting live on the South Hill, Ian Cole, KXOY4 News. Mm, crazy night. Thanks a lot, Ian.